Hey guys, Druck here. I just wanted to go through uh, my shiny Pokemon and show you what shiny Pokemon I have gotten and made through eggs and gotten in shiny dens or just in general. So we'll get started here. We have, first off, we have an amazing uh, amazing stats shiny Cinderace. He is a perfect Cinderace. He uh, Dynamaxes. Um, shiny Cinderace has the hidden ability Liberio, which changes the Pokemon's type to the type of the move it's about to use, which really comes in handy. You Knows Pyroball, Bounce, Sucker Punch, High Jump Kick. So it has a very good type advantage when it comes to fighting a wide range of enemies. Cinderace is one of my favorite new Pokemon and I had to get a shiny. I like his shiny palette a lot. As for shiny Metagross, I sent him over from uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Uh, he was one of the event Pokemon for when you first got Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And you can see his original trainer was Steven. He's not uh, a perfect shiny Metagross. I just didn't have time to make him a perfect Metagross just yet. And these are just the moves he knows. That that was just what he knew. He's a powerhouse in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But he's not a perfect one just yet. Rhyperior. This is a perfect Rhyperior. Thank you to my friend Billy for sending me a shiny perfect Rhyperior. Um, this Rhyperior is a tank. It has been fully EV trained. Now you can see its attack stats are way up there as well as its HP and its defense. And yeah, its its moves are Hammer Arm, Drill Run, Stone Edge, Mega Horn. It has the best uh, ability, which is Solid Rock. Reduces the power of super effective attacks taken. So that's a perfect Rhyperior. Zera Or, this is when the... Uh, Isle of Armor came out, we were doing all the challenges, and Game Freak gave them away for free. Um, this one's not a perfect Zara or actually, well, Absorb, actually, I think this one is. I never replace any of the moves. I don't really use Zara or unless it's like, he's my last resort that I need to use him. Corviknight, my friend Billy, made a perfect Corviknight, perfect shiny Corviknight. This thing is amazing, and it has its Dynamax form. You can see it's just, <laughs> its stats are out of there, and it has its hidden ability, Mirror Armor, which is bounces back the, all, the only stat-lowering effects that Pokemon receives. So you, you can see it has Brave Bird, Iron Head, U-Turn, and Tailwind. He is a perfect, perfect Corviknight, and it's pretty awesome. Thank you, Billy, for this one, too. This is a really cool Corviknight. Lucario. I bred this Lucario myself. It took me forever to get a shiny Ryulu, but it finally happened, and this is my perfect Lucario. Um, you can see his attack and speed are way up there. He has the hidden ability Steadfast. The Pokemon's determination boosts the speed stat each time the Pokemon flinches. Has the moveset Meteor Mass, Stone Edge, Extreme Speed, and Close Combat. And yeah, this is my perfect Lucario. He's really good. I love using him against... Um, uh, his, his, <laughs> what he's, like, super effective against. I just blanked for a second. Sorry. <laughs> now, this one is very special to me. Shiny Lapras. Oh, my God. Breeding her was one of the best Pokemon I've ever bred. It was so easy to breed Shiny Lapras that, believe it or not, during the egg hatching, two Shiny Lapras has hatched in a row. I'm not even kidding. I kept my Shiny Lapras, of course, and the only one I sent to my friend Billy. But this is a perfect Lapras. This thing is a goddamn powerhouse. Being a water ice type, it, it look, it's stats are through the roof. And has hidden ability water reserve, uh, which restores HP if hit by a water type move instead of taking damage. And, you know, she knows Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Thunder, and Life Dew, which is the move set you want for a Lapras. Just, my shiny Lapras is insane. Um, it's a fantastic Pokemon. It's a powerhouse. Lapras is already a really strong Pokemon as it is. And uh, this makes Lapras even stronger by <laughs> fully EV training her and having her max stats. This is a powerhouse of a Lapras. It's insane how strong this, this Lapras is. Sableye, I believe, was from a den, if I'm not mistaken. A shiny den. I never bothered training Sableye because he's not that great. Um, I never really put any stats into him or even bother using him because if you want a good ghost, um, if you really want a good ghost or like Dynamaxing and doing the dents, I would suggest a, a shiny Gengar. 
Lux Ray. Now I hatched this Lux Ray, which was a Shinx. I hatched, I, I hatched this Shinx on a Twitch live stream with my friend uh, Pancake Armor Man watching. And so that is why this Lux Ray is named Pancake. This is a perfect uh, Lux Ray. Its stats are, it's trained in attack, speed, and HP, of course. And it has its Intimidate, which is not its hidden ability, unfortunately. But it's still an amazing Lux Ray. It has Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Crunch, uh, Crunch and Wild Charge. But yeah, uh, that's Lux Ray. I usually use him against any water types when we go into a, a den. So it's awesome. Uh, uh, shiny Lux Ray. I just love how he looks also. He's all gold and everything. It's so cool. Another favorite. Definitely Obstagoon. He was a favorite to hatch. I love his shiny palette so much. Look how insane he looks. Just love it. It's like a complete opposite of how he looked and <laughs> how he looks, right? So I wanted a good dark Pokemon, and Shiny Obstagoon was perfect. Um, and it's holding a Flame Orb. So the Flame Orb hurts it every time uh, because of its hidden ability, Guts. So the Flame Orb hits it so it gains more um, attack every time it gets hit by that Flame Orb. So as you can see, he's trained in he's trained in mostly attack, uh, secondary defense, speed, and then his HP is really good. Uh, yeah, he's he's fantastic. Although I feel like a lot of his move set doesn't help him a lot in battles because his move set isn't really. I mean, this is the preferred move set for an Obstagoon, but it just seems off a little bit to me. I don't know, but this is the preferred move set for an Obstagoon. This is a cool obstacle, though. <laughs> this is a fun one to hatch. Charizard. I always gotta go with the black and red Charizard. Charizard is just awesome. Uh, as you can see, he's holding a life orb. I hatched this this shiny Char uh, Charmander myself. And he's holding a life orb. An item to be held by a Pokemon that boosts the moves, but the cost of some HP. And, yeah, that that's what boosts um, Charizard's stat. He has the hidden ability Solar Power. Which boosts the special attack stat and harsh sunlight, but HP decreases every turn. So yeah, he with solar power, he can use the move Solar Beam whenever he wants. So what we're running on this Charizard is Solar Beam, Flamethrower, Air Slash, and Ancient Power. Now, Charmander was a really hard Pokemon to get a shiny of. Like, oh my god, it took forever. But I'm glad it worked out, because now we have a shiny Charizard, who's really, really good in the the max raid battles. Nine Tails. Oh, Nine Tails. Shiny Nine Tails. I love Shiny Nine Tails. This one I don't believe is fully trained yet, like fully EV trained. I think I just got to level 100, and then I stopped there because something distracted me. But it knows the moves, of course. Flamethrower, Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, and Solar Beam. And it has Drought, which is perfect, is what you want on a Nine Tails. Amoongus was just from one of the. Um, this Pokemon's probably never gonna. I'm never gonna send this Pokemon on the field. <laughs> For obvious reasons, it's just uh, it's a Moongus. It, I just got it from a I think it was an event going on from Korea that they um, yeah definitely it's from a Korean Pokemon uh, when they were giving that away. Venusaur, I definitely bred myself. Bul getting a shiny Bulbasaur was a pain. It's always a pain in the ass getting any starter because they are like really hard to hatch, but. This is a perfect Venusaur. It has the uh, ability Chlorophyll, which is what you want on a Venusaur. Boosts the Pokemon's speed stat in a harsh sunlight. It knows Weather Ball, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Energy Ball. So yeah, I um, I made this perfect Venusaur. It is ready to go Dynamaxing. It is a powerhouse of a Venusaur. Whale Lord, we just got in a... We just really got lucky and entered a den with a shiny Whale Lord. Uh, this Whale Lord's probably never going to battle. That's okay, though. I have no use for really uh, using a Whale Lord, because I have Lapras that could do much more than Whale Lord can. And... But yeah, he, it's cool just to have a shiny Whale Lord. Yvatol. Of course, Yvatol is from uh, Pokemon X and Y when they were doing the event. Uh, I'll probably use him in battles. Uh, maybe give him a uh, something to raise his stats to make him a perfect Yvatol. Same thing with Xerneas. I think uh, Xerneas I'm not going to use much for battles. 
I, it's a good fairy type to have, and I just it's good to flex that shiny Pokemon just because. Um, also, Zarnus is from that same event. Reggie Drago. Now here's one. Here's one. There is a group on Facebook that uh, primarily does uh, shiny Pokemon giveaway, and uh, Reggie Drago is actually not shiny locked. So I was lucky to get into a trade with somebody, and they gave me a shiny Reggie Drago. I have not done anything with it. I think it's a perfect shiny Reggie Drago. Yes, it is. And it has Dragon's Maw, which Dragon's Maw is a great ability. But this should be a perfect shiny Reggie Drago. I've never used him, but yeah, that's shiny Reggie Drago. Dudra. I also uh, happened into a shiny den for Gudra. Gudra's a good Pokemon. I had, don't think I've trained this one. No, this one's not fully EV trained or anything like that. I got it. It's Gudra's great. I just need to, I need to uh, boost his stats. And we're right back to Cinderace. So guys, that's all the shiny Pokemon we have right now. So as you can see, we're already like working our way to hatch a shiny Meryl with huge power. Um, you can see um, we have plenty of Meryl because we're always trying to hatch. I got all these Meryl. We're always trying to hatch shiny Pokemon. So um, let me know what your guys' favorite shiny Pokemon is in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video. Love you to death. Never stop gaming. And thank you for taking a look at my shiny Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and stream sometime on YouTube uh, um, hatching these shiny Pokemon whenever we have uh, spare time. Uh, I have barely have time anymore to do shiny Pokemon hatching, so it's going to be a while until we get a shiny Meryl, but I'll probably stream that on YouTube. See you later, my friends. Have a wonderful day.